Hey everyone, Cody from the Protocase team back with another Proto Tech Tip. Today we're going to discuss the usage of what we call mate references in SOLIDWORKS. So you can create your designs for us to manufacture in a few different ways. You can use Protocase Designer or own free CAD software that allows you to start from a template and customize it to your needs. It's a big time saver because you can also instantly quote and order right in the software. So we also offer design services where a member of our team will create the design you need for an hourly design fee. But for many of our customers, particularly those who are mechanical engineers, they design the custom enclosures, parts and panels they need using CAD software, including SOLIDWORKS. So for this proto tech tip, I'm going to show you how to use mate references in SOLIDWORKS. So a mate reference is a feature you can apply to a component in SOLIDWORKS that will allow you to quickly place and mate them into an assembly. This is particularly useful when placing a high number of components into a design. So at Protocase, we mainly use this feature for inserting self-clinching fasteners. So we're going to use these as an example for this video. There are a couple of different ways you can mate things. One is the old way, which would involve dragging in the component and manually clicking on the areas in which you would like to mate the two parts. For a self-clinching stud, for example, you need a concentric mate to mate them up along their axis, and then you also need a coincident mate on the bottom surface of the stud so that it's seated properly in the hole. Adding these mates can take time, so imagine if you had 40 or 50 of these that you had to install. So this is where mate references come in handy. Mate references will allow you to pick a piece of geometry on the component that will recognize the hole it is being installed to and automatically place both a concentric and a coincident mate. The mate reference must be placed on the bottom surface of the stud in this case. And the reason is this. We need that bottom surface to be coincident with the surface on the part, so that's where the mate reference must be located. But we also need to ensure we are clicking a surface that can be made a concentric to the hole itself. In this case, there's a little edge in the bottom of the stud that works for both concentric and coincident mates. Once you click the edge, simply hit check. The mate reference is now applied. You can now bring in this fastener into your design and with one click of a button, mate it to the hole. You will notice that the fastener's first attempt tries to install it upside down. Simply click tab on your keyboard and it will flip the orientation of the mate. Another feature worth mentioning here if you are inserting a high quantity of these fasteners is this little keep visible button. When you're in your insert component dialog as shown here, make sure this pin is clicked. It should rotate downwards once it's active. This allows you to insert multiple instances of the same component one after another without leaving the insert command. So, this concludes our proto tech tip about using mate references in SOLIDWORKS. Check out the link below for more design tips for SOLIDWORKS as well as other resources. Thanks very much for watching this week's proto tech tip and we'll be back next week for another one.